we just painted a, an incredible tale for just how rare life is on this planet and the complex conglomerate of events and forces that have to exist for for us to be here i'm curious you know what your kind of take is on that well so um you know as i said earth's the only place where life uh, that we know has come about it's really proliferated once it started it's spread and it's everywhere on earth i mean it's done amazingly well is it elsewhere in the universe now uh, my suspicion, the universe is vast. And that's the other thing you've got to realise. You know, there's um, there's trillions of galaxies. Those galaxies can have, you know, billions of stars and trillions of planets. Um, it's absolutely huge. You know, it takes light to leave Earth to go to the centre of our galaxy, um, you know, uh, 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 about 26,000 years. So... That's how big it is. And light's the fast, that light's the upper speed limit to the universe. We've sent, you know, the, 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 just to give you an, a, an example of how big it is, the uh, Voyager 1 is the, um, the, it's a satellite that humanity built in the 1970s, um, set it off into space. It's the furthest object from Earth. Um, it's, you know, and it's still moving away from Earth. If that had been traveling since the beginning of the universe, um, it would have only made it about just over halfway to the next galaxy. I mean, it's, re, re, uh, you know, the universe is staggeringly large. So we've only explored a very, very tiny corner of it. And the, the, it's possible that life exists elsewhere in our solar system. Some biologists and astrophysicists have argued that life could exist on some of the moons of Saturn and Jupiter. We haven't been able to go there, but they're pretty confident as liquid water under big ice layers, we, you know, it may only be simple life, but it could be there. There's nothing to say the Earth is so fantastically unusual that, um, you know, that it's the only place in the universe for life to have started. And I, my guess is life starts fairly frequently. But even if it's only one planet in each galaxy, there could still be trillions of planets with, with life on it. I mean, that's how big the universe is. The problem we have is so big we wouldn't be able to find them, right? Uh, because they're so far away, and any signal would be coming through would be weak. Once life gets going, uh, you know, as I said, life on Earth has had several scares when it's nearly been wiped out. Um, in order for it to kind of develop to the sort of level where you've got intelligent life, um, you know, like humans, it's going to take time. It's not going to arise overnight. It took you know, the best part of four billion years for intelligent life to arise. Oh, well, life is intelligent as humans to arise on this planet. So it's a long time. Um, and, you know, on that time scale, we still don't know enough about whether planets remain in a sort of stable enough configuration, a stable enough orbit that, um, you know, that, that life could thrive over that, that long period. So we don't know the answer to that. But the universe is so large, I would be amazed. If I was a betting man, I would bet on this, that there is, a, there is intelligent life on other planets. It may be so far away, we may never communicate with it. You know, uh, the, ever since we've been sending out radio signals, which is kind of Marcona's first f phone call, um, uh, you know, that's been traveling through space. If it, you know, got picked up by someone else and then sent back, it's going to be traveling, what, 50 odd years out, 50 odd years back. It's only a few, it's only a, a few thousand star systems that, that that signal would have reached. So even the kind of noise that we are making and sending out into space has only traveled a fraction of a fraction of a, of a, a distance. So, you know, the chances of other alien civilizations are knowing, are knowing that we are here is um, they'd have to be very close by to know that. So, um, yeah, so I think life is quite common. I'm, I'm, as a betting man, I don't know. My guess is life gets started quite frequently. I suspect that intelligent life is rarer, but um, I very much doubt we're the only intelligent life in the universe.